Good morning, thank you for showing up. I so appreciate it this day before, two days before Christmas. So thank you for showing up. The first program is two tri sets, so three moves in each set. And the first set is about upper body and the second set is about lower body and core. So we'll get started right away. We're gonna work for about 10 to 12 reps on each move in 45 seconds. So setting, reaching your arms up, stretch overhead, and then bring your hands down, arms down, reach up, stretch overhead, and bring it down, do it again, reach up and stretch, and then swing your arms side to side, warming up the trunk and the shoulders, just get some movement going. Oh. Four, three, two, one, reach up and squat, up and squat, lift down, up. Bring that up, squat, lift up and squat. Reach and squat, up and down, reach. Hands on your thighs, round your back, and then lower, round your back, and lower. Do that again. Now reach up and squat. Up, squat four times. Three, two, hands on your thighs, round your back, lower, round your back, and lower. Do that one more time. One more time, squats four. Four, go a little bit lower on the squat. Three, two, one, hands on your thighs, round your back, lift. Two more. One more and reach up. Take it to a jog or march. Pump your arms. Let's wake up the body. Get the heart rate up. Wake up your central nervous system. Get ready for the workout. So get your weights. Also, light to heavy. I've got my lighter 12 pound weights and heavier 15s. Pump your arms. Four, three, two. Let's start with a low jack. Low jack, like this. Do that eight more times. Four more. Four, three, two. Full jack. Reach up overhead. Do that. Eight more right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wide feet, lunge side to side, so moving in a different plane of motion, warming up the inner thighs, lunge. Now touch the floor, reach, or touch the inside of your calf right there. Reach down, arm, opposite arm goes back. Reach, do that eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and reach up, stretch overhead. Let's get started. So picking up your, the lighter of your weight. So 10 pounds or 12 pounds or less, squat to pick it up. Curl to overhead press. So shoulders back. Bring your weight up to your shoulders and then down. So hammer curl. I also heard this called candlesticks. <laughs> so thumbs up, curl up to your shoulders and then press overhead. So we'll put those moves together in a moment. Three, four, now put those together. Curl to press, curl and press. Do it again. Curl and press. Right there. Curl and press. Two more. Press. One more. Now let's do the right arm. So single arm, curl, do that four, 
three, two, one. Now the other side. One, two, good. Three, and four. Now overhead press, singles. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Four, three, good. Two, and then one. Nicely done. All right, so I should get, get a little bit lighter weight because we're gonna do reverse flies now. So eight pounds or less on these, just so you can control the weight better, right? So one foot back, one foot forward, you're staggering your stance, and then you're gonna hinge forward, so shoulders back. So notice my back is flat, and you're gonna bring the weights out to the side, and kind of point your elbows up like that, or pinkies up. So reaching out to the side, doing 10 reps, that's four, five, six, pinkies out, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Now let's alternate it for 10. So out, bring it out, pinky up. Change your legs. Three, four, good. Slightly look, look forward, five, or gaze forward. Here's six, seven, eight, nine, elbow up or pinky up, and then 10. Nicely done. Okay, so now we're gonna come down to the mat for tricep work. And so come down, lightweight right here, eight pounds or less. Lighter weight for your triceps, smaller muscle group. So on the mat, reach the dumbbells up, and then bring the, the, bend the elbows, bring the weights toward to your, ear, ear, <laughs> your ears, and then extend up. Bring it down, and then up, good. So lower, and lift. This is four, going to 10. Five, keep your elbows stable, in place. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now alternate that move and we'll count each rep. So right, one, two, three, bend the elbow, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Good, okay, so now let's bring it up. So the second round, let's put, a, let's put the timer on and just see the difference between counting reps or just going on a timer. Starting session. Starting session. All right, so pick up your medium to heavy weight. I'm gonna pick up my 12s again bicep curls and overhead press, all right? So starting with bicep curl first. All right, shoulders back. Let's just do a few of those reps. Stagger your feet, one forward, one back behind you, like that. Elbows into your side, don't let them move. Now curl and press overhead, do four overhead. Four, straight up three, straight arms two, and now let's put that together right here. Curl, press, down, bottom. Curl, press, down, bottom. Bring it up, lift, down, bottom. Curl, press, do it again. Up, top, one more. All right, second. Second round, similar move. Gotta watch my mic over there. <laughs> All right, 
So shoulders back, right side first. Stagger your feet, curl. Now go overhead. So curl and press two times. Same side, curl, overhead press. One arm, lift, down, bottom. Press your feet down, abs contracted. And now the other arm, left side. Curl two times, overhead. Curl, and then overhead. Curl, press, down, bottom. Curl, press, let's get one more in. Do one more, even up those reps. Nicely done, all right, so now reverse flies. So squat, put those down, pick up your other weight. And now separate your feet, hinge forward. Pinkies out or up, elbows slightly turn up like that, right? Up, hinge forward, work against gravity. Reach those weights up to the side, good. Pull the blades towards each other. Both arms change, which leg is the leg that's forward. Staggering your feet, one leg back, abs braced. You got it right there, come on, right there. Elbows up, pinkies up, reach. Nicely done. Okay, so now we're gonna do the second round and alternate. All right, ready? So again, stagger your feet. Hinge forward, right then left. Right, left, right. Out to the side, you guys. My elbow is slightly bent, abs braced, up. Change the leg, stagger the other forward. Up, lift, good, up, alternate. Work in the posterior deltoid. Core, you got it, keep moving. Next move, take it down to the mat, all right? So bring it down. Go ahead and lie down carefully. Head on the floor flat, feet on the floor. Reach the arms straight, palms facing each other, straight wrists, bend your elbows, watch your head, lift and lower, lift and lower, slow and controlled pace. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Up, bring it down and lift, lower and left, keep those elbows stable, chin neutral. Good, all right, relax the arms for a moment. And now we'll alternate. Bring the weight up, straight arms. Right here, alternate, right, left, right, left. Elbow bends, the hand comes down, or the weight comes down beside your ear. Palm facing in, straight arms at the top, right there. Good, chin neutral. Lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Do it again. Other side. Excellent, you did it. All right, so let's move on. Stop. 
So the first set we'll do, we'll count reps, okay? And then we'll do a timed set. Two sets are two rounds. And we're gonna add some lower body to the upper body. So pick up your medium heavy weight. So I'm picking up my 12s, all right? And if you have a platform, a step or something that's low, like about this height, please get that and place it. Then pick up your weight squat, pick your weight up. Let's do 10 reps on the right and 10 on the left. So step forward in front of your step with a step behind you. Bring the weights up to your shoulders and you can set the weights on your shoulders or hold the weights, bring your right foot back and look up here for a moment. So you're gonna face your hips square to the direction you're turning, right? And when you bend your knee, whoo, get your balance. When you bend your knee, you're gonna bring your knee towards the ground or the floor and then lift back up. The forward knee stays over your ankle and then lift. And you're feeling this work in the glute, so try it with me. So weight on your shoulders or in your hands, bend your knee, both, and then lift up. Lower and lift. Bulgarian split squat. Work in the glute on the standing leg, the leg that's forward. Let's count that as four, five, six, seven. Bend the knee, eight. Go a little bit lower, nine. One more, 10. So this move is really a lot about balance, right? So primary, primarily get your balance, of course. Tuck your toes under, look forward. Abs in, bracing right there. Now lower and lift. That forward knee over your ankle. Lower and lift. Do it again. Lower and lift. All right, here's four and lift, five, six, good, seven, chin neutral, eight, get your balance, concentrate, nine, and then one more, 10, nicely done. Static lunge, a little bit easier, foot off of that step, right? Okay, so right leg back, not using the bench, opposite leg forward, straight, toes pointing straight ahead of you, look forward, lower, and lift, straighten the legs, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. Change sides. Opposite leg, goes back. Knee over ankle in the front, look forward. Toes point straight ahead and go. Lower, straighten the legs. One, two, look forward. Chin neutral, three, four. Press into that forward foot, the heel, Five, mainly, six, seven, great job, eight, you got it, nine, one more, ten, excellent, all right, squats, both feet grounded, feet hip width apart, and you can turn your toes out just slightly, just a little bit, right, now squat down, and then lift up. Pay attention to your spine, your lower back specifically. So right where you feel your spine's neutral and comfortable, that's where you're gonna go to. You don't have to lower all the way down you, and you don't wanna have your tailbone tuck under. You can feel that if you go really, really low, your tailbone will start to kind of tuck under. So stop just before that point and then push and lift up protecting the lumbar spine. 
Let's count this as four. <laughs> Good. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Slow and controlled. Nine. You got it. One more. Ten. All right, so let's do one more round. This round, we're going to go down slowly, working the eccentric part of the move. So lower down three, two, one, and lift up. Do it again. Three, two, one, push, lift up. Good. Three, two, one, lift. Do it again. Three, two, one. Here's number four. Lower down. Good. Number five. Sink your weight back into your heels. Six. Good. Nicely done. Seven. Come on. Push your feet into the ground. Lift up. Eight. Nine. Then ten. Nicely done. Okay. Bring the weight off your shoulders. And place it on the floor. Now let's do a round on the clock. On the timer. First is the Bulgarian split squats. Hold your weight in your hands or better up on your shoulders. All right, so right leg back. Look forward. So we practiced this already. Toes pointing forward, lower and lift. So the knee lowers a little bit at an angle, so it goes back towards the, the foundation or your platform back there. If you're just, if you don't have that platform or this step to work with and your foot's back there, just lower your knee towards the floor, lift up. Same thing if you've got the platform, but it's a little bit of a diagonal move, pointing your knee towards the platform and then lifting up lift and then up bring it down and then up good job okay so let's change sides opposite foot bring it back toes tucked under on the platform abs in weight in the sh on the shoulders lower and then lift lower and then lift, good. Lower, and then lift. Down, and then up, good. So it's almost like you're slight, or you are, <laughs> almost like you are slightly leaning forward, just a little bit. I hate to say that because I don't want you to lean. You're just articulating the spine just slightly at a diagonal, or forward, lower, and lift. That is if you've got the platform to use. Good. Breathe. All right, single leg, our static lunge. Let's do the opposite leg. Right leg back. Look forward. Here you're lowering straight down and then straight up. Lower down and then up. Lower and lift. So if you can bring your knee all the way down, don't touch the floor, just hover right there over the floor, showing control. Good, lift. If you don't have that range of motion, just lower knee towards the floor, straight up, straight down. Knee over the ankle in the front. Do it again. Lift and lower. Excellent. Okay, opposite side. Ready? Let's do it. We're almost there. Two more moves. Leg is back. Look forward. Chin neutral. You ready? Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Push through that forward heel press up. Lower down and lift. 
Excellent, lift, do it again. Lift, break in a little sweat, yeah. Lower and lift. Bring it up. You got it. Up and down, good. Look forward, don't look down. Push through. Do one more. Step together, okay. Here's your squats. So weight on your shoulders, feet apart, hip width. Turn your toes out slightly. Breathe, sink your weight back. Ready, let's do it. Squat and then lift, carefully. Keep your heels down and don't let your tailbone tuck under. Squat and lift. So it's not about how low you can go, it's about the form. So lower and lift. Lower and lift, good. Press into your feet strongly and lift, good. Do it again, down and up. Lower and lift, you got it. Lower, push your feet down. Abs contracted right there. Excellent, okay. Put your weights away. Stopping session. All right, so let's do it. So I'll move this over. So for boot camp coming up, you need to have a chair to do like mountain climbers. What do we have? Uh, plank jacks, grab a chair. Otherwise, we're gonna be coming to the ground. This next se section is about combination moves. So we're our combining moves. We're gonna put some stuff together to work. High intensity, low impact. Getting the heart rate up sufficiently and keeping it low impact. So let's I have water over here. Get some water. All right. I have this funny thing happening on my on my my Spotify account. I gotta figure that out. It's not playing what I'm telling it to play. <laughs> it's like going over to something else that I didn't tell it to play. All right, let's begin. High intensity interval training, low impact. So come to your mat and sit down. Right here, 90-90. So bring your one leg forward, one leg side, like that. Sit up tall, and then lean forward, and lift up. And then tip your feet over, or your knees up, feet over, and then to the other side. So turn, feels so good. Your hips and your legs. Here's the thing, you guys, press the legs down, and then lean over. Lift, up and over. Four more times. Four, a couple of moves, three, warming up the hips and legs and arms, two, next move, legs and arms, one. All right, lift it up. Okay, flip over onto your hands and your knees. Bird dog, balancing, activating your core, reach the arm, right arm and left leg, stretch it out. Abs in, how's your lower back feel? Press your hand down, knee down. Extend the left arm, right leg out straight. Toes pointing down, straight leg. Inhale, pull your ribs in, press your fingers into the floor. Set your hand down, set your knee down. Reach the right arm, left leg straight. Elbow to knee, five times. Five, reach, four, leg goes straight out, three, 
straight out. Two, one more. Reach, hand down. Leg goes back, left arm, press into your hand, elbow to knee. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bring your right foot forward, left hand on the floor. So a lot of people get confused with this. What you need to do is shift your hips forward. If you're here, it's not gonna do the same thing or the, you're missing the point. So shift your hips forward, reach the right arm up, stretch the arm, the chest, then bring the arm on the inside of your leg. So outside would be over here, inside is here. Shoulders beside my knee or comes close to it, right? And then reach underneath. So curling the arm under, so reach up. Arm goes under and behind the opposite arm and then reaches up. So you do that, let's do that. Five, good, four, three, two, one more. Reach up. Good, now hamstring stretch, put your foot flat. Inhale, reach up. So this longer warm up for mobility, super important right now with the temperatures at least where we are, a little bit colder. Spend a little more time warming up and, en and engaging the muscles. Now put your right knee down and bring the left leg forward. So reach, hand on the floor right there. So you need space. Shift the hips forward so you're not here, you're here. Reach the arm and then bring it underneath. We'll do eight of these. Point your elbow towards the, to the floor and then reach up. Point the elbow to the floor, feel your hip, the trunk, the chest right there opening up, shoulder. Reach and bring it under, up. I've lost count, but we'll do one more. <laughs> All right, now look forward, hamstring stretch. Oh, toes point up, put your foot flat. Inhale, reach the arms up. Do it again, flex the foot. Inhale and reach, flex right there, and then reach one more time, flex, and put your foot flat, inhale, reach. Step forward, hands on the thighs, round your back. Lower your belly towards the floor, cow pose, cat, and cow. Again, up, and lower one more time, round it up. Neutral spine, stand tall. Let's begin. Get a sip of water, wipe your sweat if you need to, and we'll get started. So first thing, well, first of all, let me explain. What we're doing, we're gonna do two sets. The two sets have three moves and we'll go for, for about a minute, so the, including the time between and three moves. But each move has two rounds. So right and left side and then on the unilaterals, we'll do one round but modif or, um, have a variation for the second round. That'll all make sense later. All right, so let's get started. Timer on, ready? Let's do it. Get that cap on for sweat purposes. <laughs> Starting Start session. session. Oh my God, that's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> okay, now it's on, it's supposed to be on. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is a rear lunge, all right? We'll practice that, and then we're gonna do deadlift, single leg deadlift. So rear lunge, just tap, rear lunge, tap, rear lunge, tap, rear lunge, tap. And now deadlift, single leg. Ooh, get your balance, do it again. We'll combine these moves, one more. 
Now lunge, single leg deadlift. Reach, lunge, single leg deadlift. Lunge, do it again. Single leg deadlift, straight body, straight leg. Do it again one more time, finish that rep. <clears throat> All right, let's change sides, okay? Other side. Starting with the lunge, the basic move. Look forward, shoulders back, abs in, reverse lunge. Let's do that three times. Two, one. Now single leg and lift up. Do it again. Again. <laughs> Now put it together, rear lunge, cool, and then single leg deadlift. Rear lunge, combining the move, and the single leg deadlift. Do it again. Rear lunge, and single leg deadlift. Straight leg, bring it up. Do it again. Getting better, getting stronger. Nicely done, all right. This one, a little more movement. We're gonna step lateral bound, side to side like that, and then a vertical leap, okay? So three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, up. Side. Side, side, up, side. Sweep your arms, lift, good. Three, two, one, plyometric. Three, two, quick movement, or just a knee lift. Side, 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 up. Lift, out. Nicely done. All right, <clears throat> doing that one more time. So this time, very specific, plant your feet. Slow, slow, lift, slow, 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 lift, side, side, side. Lateral, vertical. Lateral, vertical, lateral, up, lateral, you got it, and lift, out, bring it up, three, two, one, hop, three, two, one, leap, finish it, heart rate up, Good job, okay. Third move, two squats. And then we'll come out, walk it out on the floor pro to a plank and do two push-ups. So squat two times and then fold over, walk it out, hold your plank, do two push-ups, walk it back, stand up, squat. Two, fold over, walk it out, two push-ups. One, two, walk it back, reach, squat. Two, fold over, reach out, plank, two push-ups. Child's pose. <clears throat> the second round, we're going to start in plank, all right, and reverse it. So hands spread, fingers spread. Here we go. Two push-ups. One, two, and then walk it back. Reach up. Pulse squat. Three, two, one, and stand. Fold over. Walk it out. Starting point, two push-ups. Walk it back. 
Stand and then three pulses. Three, two, one, and stand. Fold over, walk it out. Starting point, two push-ups. Walk it back. Stand first, now three pulses. Three, two, one. Excellent, second round. Okay, rear lunge to single leg deadlift. Go ahead and put those together since we already practiced, right? So here we go. Lunge, lift, or stand, and then single leg deadlift. Lunge, leg is back, good. So you need to stand up first so your body's straight, and then hinge and touch the shin or the shoelaces. Good job. Reach and do it again. Excellent. Excellent. Other side. Everybody feeling good? Let's do it. So lunge to single leg deadlift, shoulders back, abs in, lunge, ready? Practice, first round, our first rep, lunge, and then deadlift, do it again. Lunge, and then single leg deadlift. Do it again, lunge, you got it. Single leg deadlift. Look forward first and then lunge, and then start to gaze down as you tip the body forward and lift the leg back. Do it again, lunge, and then lower. Do it again, lunge, keep that body moving. Excellent work. Okay, so here's the little bit more cardio. So lateral bounds to one vertical leap. So you can also just do a knee, like a quick knee lift on that vertical or hop it, right? So a little bit of quick movement like that. Good for the joints, strengthening them. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, leap. Three, two, one. Sweep those arms up. <laughs> Three, two, one, leap. Three, get that leap in. Up. Three, two, one, leap. Three, two, one. Cover some space. Three, two, one, leap. Nicely done. <laughs> okay. Three, think bounding, <clears throat> landing on one foot, right? Bound, 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 up, careful. Here's where you, you realize whether or not you've got lateral stability in your shoes. Three, two, one, three, shoes are important. One, up, three, two, one, leap, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, lift, three, two, one, leap, three, two, one, leap, finish. You got it. All right. Here's where we do the walkouts. So looking forward, shoulders back, soften your knees. Let's start with the squats. So three, two, one, fold over, walk it out, two push-ups. Bring it back. Stand up first, three squats, three, two, 
one, fold over, walk it out, chest towards the floor, lift, do it again, and then walk it back, stand up, three squats, three, two, and one, bring it down, so the second round, starting from the floor, right? So hands, fingers spread, wrists underneath your shoulders, two push-ups. Chest down, one more. Reach or walk it back. And now pulse squat, three, two, one. Stand and then fold over, walk it over, walk it out, here we go. Two, one, bring it back and lift up. Three pulses, three, two, one. Stand up, fold over, walk it out. Three, two, <laughs> or two push-ups. <laughs> Getting stuck on that number three. Reach up, three pulses, three, two, one. Nicely done, you guys. All right, so let's kind of recalibrate, get ourselves together, wipe your sweat, and get some water. Next three moves, combination moves. The next three moves are gonna get, is gonna get your heart rate up higher. So that was kind of the easing into it part. Now we'll work a little bit harder. So modify what you need to modify. And I'm gonna turn my mat just so you can, can use this in this orientation. Okay, let's begin. So get yourself together and let's start the timer. How's everybody doing? Check in. Good calorie burn there. And then let's start. So this is 12 minutes. And then we've got core training and stretching in between. And then we'll be done. We're ready for the day. What a beautiful day here in Brentwood, Tennessee. So wherever you are, I hope that you're doing well and you're having a beautiful day too. <laughs> okay, so first thing, high knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High five drill. Bring it down, touch your shoulders. Four, four, three, two, one. Here's your hop in or step in, and then a high five. Okay? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hop, touch, one, two, three, four, hop, high five. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hop, tap, four, three, two, one, high fives. <sighs> Nicely done. Okay, second move, jacks. And actually, let's do two rounds of that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Two rounds, high five drill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Step or hop, tap your shoulders. Four, three, two, one, high five. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Step or hop, touch your shoulders. Four, three, two, one, hop, high five. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Touch, three, two, one, ha. <sighs> Just a little winded. <laughs> okay, relax, jumping jacks, low or high, and then we'll go to the mat, plank jacks. So let's do eight and four. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, plank jacks, four, three, two, one, step, and then jack. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, plank jacks. 
One, two, three, four. Jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down. Jacks. Four, three, two, one. And stand. Up. Okay, let's do it again. Do it better. Second time. All right, so the reason why we're doing four plank jacks is so that you keep your form. You can do four with good form. All right, so jacks. Eight, seven, six, reach up. Four, three, two, one. Plank. Four, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, plank jacks, four, four, three, two, one, jacks, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and plank jacks, four, three, two, one, up, and we did it. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, so we're gonna do a little lateral shuffle. Now that I've got my mat this way, I'm gonna move it. So, look, so it's three, two, one, squat, squat. Three, two, one, squat, squat. Three, two, one. So I want you to get low and use the arms here. Three, one. I don't know how much room you have, of course. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. Do it again. Squat. Do it again. Squat. Again. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. <sighs> All right, second time. So, laterals, and then two squats. So, changing directions, right on the fly. Three, two, one, three, two squats. Three. Now you can also hop two times. Two, or not. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Last one on this round. Breathe. Come on, finish it. Woo! So. Second round. High five drill. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Plank, tap, 4, 3, 2, 1. High five. You got it. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank, tap. Three, two, one. High five. <laughs> Good. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tap. Four, three, two, one. High fives. Whew. Nice. One more. So you can also march quick and then squat instead of the plank and then do a high five, okay? Here we go. Eight, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap, two, three, four, high five. Do it again. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
plank, tap. Four, three, two, one, high five. Good job. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touch. Four, three, two, one. Let's finish. High five. Right in time. Whew. Okay. Rest. <laughs> Eight jacks. Four plank jacks. Okay? Here we go. This is where you make a difference, you guys. Stay with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step back. Four, three, two, one. Step in. Stand and jack. Eight, six, five, four, two, one. We're almost done, you guys. Four, three, two, one. One, and jack. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, plank jacks. Two, three, four, stand. Okay, remember, key thing when you're doing those plank jacks, firm body, don't rock too much. Forward and back or side to side. You can even tap your toes out or just stay in squat. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plank, jack. Four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Jacks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Four plank jacks. Four, three, two, one. And stand. You got it. Okay, last move. This is the laterals with a squat. So changing directions. So three side shuffles, get low, and then two squats or two hops. Three, two, one. One, two, or you can squat. Three, two, one. Two rounds of this. Quick movement. I'm a little more cautious because of the space, but you can still be very specific and efficient. Get low, hop, hop, do it again. Good job, come on. Do it again. Finish. Nicely done. Okay, one more. And then we're done, ab work and stretching. Ready? Catch your breath. Oh, feels good, right? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. Three, two, one. Squat, squat. Three, two, one. Look forward. Squat or hop. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Again, come on. Three, two, one. One. You got it. Come on. Do it again. You got it. I think we can do one more. Yep. Oh. You got it. So get some water and Get your mats. We're going to take it to the mat. Shall we begin? Core training. We'll do several moves for 45 seconds, and we'll stretch in between each move, okay? So we'll get the combination of core training and stretching. First thing, lie on your back. <clears throat> so your head flat. First thing we're going to do is single side 
cross body crunch like this. Then we'll do the other side and then we'll do bicycle. So that's putting it together basically. So threes, working in threes. Three, six, nine, Okay, here we go. Start. Starting set. So hand be hands behind your ears. Put your right ankle on your left knee. Look up. Chin off of your chest. Right there. And smile. <laughs> Flex your foot. Bring the elbow across and then reach over. Across and then reach over. So keep your knee pointing to the side. So you're kind of getting a stretch right there. Across. Then if you want to lift a knee, lift your left foot up and reach the hips as you reach the elbow over. Make sure you point the left elbow to the floor, touch the floor across, across body crunch. Keep your left foot on the floor if you need to, otherwise upper body and lower body working together. Crunch, cross body crunch. One more. Good job. All right, so let's change sides. Left ankle, let's start with the move where you're just bringing it across. Keep your right foot planted. Your left elbow planted also. Reach the right shoulder up and over and down. So exhale and then inhale right there. Exhale and we'll lift and then lower. And if you're ready, lift your left foot up and keep that crunch going. And then if you want to increase that move, you'll kind of lift the lower back off the floor, crunch the lower with the upper, crunch across. Do it again, across. Nicely done, all right. So now, both feet on the floor, head on the floor first, hands behind your ears, and breathe. <laughs> now bend your knees 90 degrees, get your lower back on the floor right there. Now alternate knee and extend the opposite leg. Straight, knees together in the center, and then switch right there. Straight out, straight out. Across, across the body crunch. Straight out, keep your chin off your chest, you guys. Chin off chest, key thing. Next thing, stretch, you guys. Like straight up. Across, across, elbow to the floor, elbow to the floor. Good job, okay. So first, extend the left leg out, bring the right knee into your chest. Extend that left leg out straight, press the thigh down, then reach the right leg up. So grab your toes if you can. So this leg, this side of the body first. Now bend your knee or keep this leg straight, bring the leg across the body to the left, reach the right arm over to the right, relax, get your shoulders even, relax the shoulders, the hip, breathe, and breathe, good job, okay. So lift that up, settle your lower back first. Now let's do the other side. Extend the right leg out, bring your left knee into your chest, pull that leg in, get comfortable. Extend the leg up straight. Maybe you just reach up for your calf and pull the leg in, but try to reach for your toes. Straighten your leg. Reach with the right hand and extend the right leg out straight. And I want you to press the right calf down to the floor and keep the left leg up. Take a breath in. 
You can bend this left knee or keep the leg straight. Bring this leg across the body to the right. All the way over and then look over to the left. Shoulders on the floor, right there. Breathe in, relax the hip, relax the shoulders, get your shoulders even, relax the neck, the jaw. So places where you might hold tension. Now lift up, bend your knee, pull that in, settle your lower back. Now both legs up, straight. Reach up behind the hamstrings, hands behind the calves. So a bilateral move and then a unilateral move or stretch. Abs in, press your lower back to the floor. Grab your toes, pull those legs in, both legs at the same time. And with the legs straight up, centering the, the hips around the sacrum, relax the shoulders. And breathe. You can close your eyes right here. Now bend your knees, pull the knees to your, the inside of your arms, kind of like happy baby right there for a moment. And then cross your legs and roll up. All right, coming on to your forearms. So three moves. Bilateral first, side plank from your forearm. Right there. Hand right here on your hip. Palm on the floor. Lower the hip and then lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. So I'm on the edges of my feet. My legs are straight. My body is straight right here. Lower and lift. Press your hand into the floor, the form into the floor. And position your form at an angle that your shoulder's comfortable. And you want to pull your shoulder back, down and up. Or down. Hold, static, right here. Breathe. Nicely done. Okay, so let's do the other side. So I'm going to flip it around. Put your form on the floor. Legs out. You can also put this leg up underneath here and prop. So right here, body straight, right there. Lower and left. Just a little movement maybe and left. You're still feeling that contraction. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Edges of the feet into the pressing down. Lower, lift. You got it. Down, up. Up, lift, up, you got it, come on, hold, breathe, two, one, all right, one more move, forearm plank, you guessed it, on your forearms, unilateral move, so here, you can set your knees down. Now, begin. Knees up. You can rock forward and back, slowly and controlled. Forward, look, at, look between your thumbs. Forward and back. Press into the forearms. Shift, bring it back. Shift and back. Press into the fingers. Breathe, shift, shift. You got it, come on. Nicely done, child's pose briefly. Stretches, come up. Bring your right foot forward in a lunge position. And now let's sit, sit on the mat. Place your right shin forward, your left shin side. 90-90 stretch. And then hinge forward. 
flat back. And then if you want to go into full pigeon or half pigeon pose, put your forearms in front of the shin and sneak that left leg back. Knee points to the outside edge of the mat. If this does not feel comfortable, then don't do it. Stay in 90-90. So I gave you that option. Press your toes down into your shoe. You can look up. So here, if you stay up, you're stretching your thigh over there, which is important. Bring your hands right here. And now we're gonna sit on the hip and come up. Bring your left leg forward. Lunge for a moment right there. All right, so then you're gonna sit down. Bring your left leg forward, right leg side like that. 90, 90, and then lean forward. And you can stay here. Great stretch, press your legs down. Or further, pigeon pose or half pigeon. Leg is back, right? All right, stay right here on your forearms. Abs in, breathe. We're gonna come to our feet next for Malasana. All right, bring it up. Malasana. So just bring your feet out wide first and have your knees going the same direction as your toes. Glutes down to your heels right here. And then if you can bring your feet in and keep your heels down on the mat, then bring them in for closer together. Toes pointing out, knees pointing the same direction as your toes. Abs in, breathe. <laughs> this is it, you guys. This half the time, split the time up. So, in. all right, so now place the hands on the floor, forward fold. When you forward fold, parallel your feet, and maybe bring your feet closer together. Relax the neck and the shoulders. Hands to your feet or behind. Straighten the legs. Nicely done with a flat back. Hands to your shins or your knees and lift all the way up. Inhale and reach up. You did a fantastic job. Thank you so much for showing up with me to work out. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll see you again soon. Tomorrow I am doing yoga, but then I'll take off for the rest of 2020 and get ready for 2021 for you. So, but I will give you guys something to do. I'm actually going to put together a challenge for you for next week if you want to do it. It'll be a little bit of not, a, not you don't have to do something every day, but pick the days you want to. Just try to get three workouts in next week. Okay? See you again. Bye. Let me know if you did this live or recording. Bye.